What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Greg. I'm gonna record a Pokemon Go video. Just to touch on something. I have a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus through Verizon. And my Pokemon Go has the latest security patch. This is not a joystick. I'm telling you this right now. Um, but I did find a way to travel and move around without a joystick. It's a little inconspicuous and it, it has its problems every once in a while to where if you move around a lot more then you have a better chance of it not saying GPS location not found or failed to detect location and when that happens what I normally do is just shut my game down um, go back to the app click on the location that I was already previously in because once you pick a location you stay there that's that's the main thing I've noticed it's not getting banned I haven't got I haven't got soft ban or anything that I'm aware of and so what I'll do is I'll pick a location I'll wait five or ten minutes after I get the failed location thing and then I'll reopen the I'll go back into the app I use to pick my location click on my location again and then go into Pokemon Go. So the app that I use is fake GPS location free. Um, this right here. So um, this is where you basically can see where my location is set now. And I'm actually just going to forget this ad. Go to Tokyo because Tokyo has a lot of regional exclusives. And that's where I've been chilling out. And you don't really have to move a whole lot to get Pokestops and stuff, so let's search up Tokyo, um, you can find this app in the App Store, just look for this little um, icon, the fake GPS location free, the little thing in the top left corner, alright, so we're in Tokyo now, you're going to hit mock location started, you'll probably get an ad, sometimes you don't, then I just hit my home button, go back, open Pokemon Go, and I can show you that this works, and I can show you that I have caught Pokemon because I have Farfetch'd, which is a regional exclusive for the game. And I'm actually going to turn the video on this little bit. That way, I don't sound too loud and the music's not too loud. But I probably shut the music off and just keep the sound effects because I've never been a really big fan of the Pokemon Go music. Now, one thing I want to touch right here, which is actually going pretty fast this time, sometimes it'll take a little while to load. It'll come up with this, it'll come up dark, and then since it's nighttime in Tokyo, then when I play at night, it's daytime. So, this is like one of the features for my sound real quick. I'm gonna show off the sound, or the music. That way you still have the sound. Oh, here I'm right next to the gym. Let's click on the gym. Open the gym. It's, um, Valor, which that's mine. Anyways, to show you, I can spin the Pokestop. Boom, boom, boom. Team bonus because it's my team. So, I already got my first day spin last night at like 1 a.m. So, alright. Now, see how I'm staying here right in this area? Don't, honestly. You can attack gyms. There it is. GPS signal not found. And the first thing I'll do is I'll hit my app thing. Go over here. Hit play. And then wait a few seconds and then move. Again, we'll move over here. Boom, I've moved. Now, I'm going to click here. I moved. And now, this is what I wanted to show you. It, it doesn't normally take that. It normally um, doesn't do that. But here, as you can see, it says try again later. So what you'll do, is since I'm right next to the Pokestop, I'll shut Pokemon Go. I'll go back into this app. I will hit play again. I'll back out. I'll hit my home screen. I'll scroll around my phone, do something else for a few minutes, but I'm not going to wait that long for you guys. I'm actually just going to talk for a minute and then go back into the app and show you that it works and doesn't. It's not a joystick, but after the security patch, it's the only way I can find to use a joystick. I have a tablet. Well, I don't have a personal Android tablet, which I'm probably just going to go buy one without the security patch. Um, my stepmom does and she doesn't use it and I asked her to sell it to me I told her she bought it for 50 bucks 
through Verizon. I told her I'd give her 75. No, I really don't want you to do that. Like, Where's your tablet at? Which I have a Kindle, which I know exactly where my Kindle's at. My Kindle is at school because I'm on summer break, but we leave our stuff at our school because I go to like a really cool school where we have our own individual places we can be and our own desk. So I just kind of leave my stuff at my desk. And when I go back, my stuff's still there. I don't have to worry about anybody taking it. So let's just talk about that. So like I said, it works and doesn't. So now that I've waited a few minutes, I'm going to open the app again. Actually click on the play button in the bottom. Again, hit my home button. Reopen Pokemon Go. And time really varies. It can take 30 seconds to fix the location. It could take a minute. It could take two minutes. It could take three minutes. It could take 10 seconds. But as you see, I went out and I'm good. You can catch Pokemon. Let's just catch Pokemon really quick. Uh, Pidgey. Boom. Catch this Pidgey really quick. All right, let's see if we got it. Come on, come on, come on. Boom. See, we caught a Pidgey. Um, Pidgey was caught. Okay. Now what I'd do right here is I'd go back and then change my location again. Um, I want to move here. Hit play. Open the app. Don't move too far from the location you already picked. Because if you do, sometimes you'll get a failed location. Thing. And it's just really um, a pain in the ass. Now, this is one other thing I wanted to talk about. Like I said, you can go to Tokyo and spin Pokestops and stuff and catch Pokemon. But there's errors like this. I'm clicking on it, but it's not opening. It's You can either try fixing it this way by going back to the app and just moving again and reopening it. It may or may not fix the problem. Let's see if it fixed the problem here. Nope, so let's try again later. We're going to stay here, just close the app, and show you that it can take anywhere from a minute to 30 seconds. We won't even wait that long. Let's just count with you guys. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. All right, we waited a good ten seconds. Re let's reopen it. Let it load. And... It may or may not. I'm actually going to go over here real quick and hit the um, mock location again. Oh, re, re go back into it while it's loading. And boom. It, uh, do not enter dangerous places. Playing Pokemon Go. Okay. We're right back here. Pokemon popped up. We're spinning Pokestops. It's a Rattatat and Spinix. Boom. We opened it. Now I want to move over this way just a little bit. Boom. Go back. Reopen it. That allows me to walk this direction. I need to go a little further. Boom. Back. Okay. Boom. Found the detect location. Well, I can actually spin this cookie. Nope, I flew closer to it. But as you can see, you can move around. It's time consuming. And it doesn't really last as long as you might wish it did. Um, but I'm a passenger, I'm going too fast, so it, it obviously thinks I'm still moving, but, um, it's best to wait a couple hours, like, before you go to bed, pick the location you want to be in the morning, and then, in the morning, go back into the app I use to change my location, and just click on the location you wanted to be last night, and then it should keep you, um, it should last longer, but sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it will. So we're actually going to go over to the 7-Eleven in Tokyo. And there's a, there is a Pokestop by 7-Eleven, by most of the 7-Elevens. Boom, Pokestop. I may or may not be able to spin it. Nope, try again later. Now, this is considered a soft band when it says click on it, and it says try again later. Now, for this soft band, basically what they would have you do is open it. And spin it 40 times and shut it and spin it and shut it and spin it over and over again until you get to 40. Now, for this hack, I'm just going to shut the app. I'm going to click back on here. I'm going to scroll out just a little bit. Find where I want to go. Um, 
let's just say somewhere in the vicinity. We'll actually even click on this location again and then move up to um, Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. All right, there we go. So now we're going to click to the home button. Go ahead and um, open Pokemon Go. And it may or may not fix the soft fan. But what I did notice is once I go back to my original, like, like my home location is, it if I was already soft fan when I went back, it didn't really soft fan me. It just left me the way it was. It allowed me to spin Pokestop, etc., etc. Sometimes the app just needs a little reset, which can be a pain in the ass, but it's the price you pay for a security patch. See, I've already spun those. So let's just go here. So you can move around. I said I actually suggest staying when you move around in this little blue area that they show you. Because that blue area actually kind of says you're not moving too far, but you're not moving that close. So see, this area is a little bigger. And it gets bigger, so boom, I can move this location right here. And I shouldn't have too much issue moving that distance. See, like, when um when your guy actually runs and moves, then you know that you have a better chance of not getting banned. Um, oh, yeah, I don't have this Pokemon yet. Boom. This is why a joystick comes in handy. I am actually on crutches right now, so... Like, as you can tell, I'm on crutches. I couldn't go outside if I wanted to. So, like, this is, like, the op option for it. Let's throw an off a uh, great ball. Let's see if we can catch it. Boom. We caught a Pokemon. It's just not registered in my Pokedex and everything. This is the first time I pet ca caught it. As you can see, Pokemon caught 100 XP. New Pokemon 500, etc., etc. And... It, like, one thing I've noticed about being in Tokyo is when you come across a Pokemon you haven't had before, I have a bunch of Chikorita's, but you know what, you never go wrong catching a Chikorita. And honestly, you can catch a decent amount of Pokemon back to back. Um, my first Chikorita I ever caught, its CP was 420, and I named him Weed. Alright, and I, I don't know, my little cousin or something. Uh, was playing, started playing Pokemon Go, and he got my phone, and he upgraded my Chikorita. So instead of it being 420, it was 430. Now, before it even goes out to Pokemon Go, go back in and just move your location really quick. Because it are, you already caught the Pokemon, so. Boom. Alright. Chikorita caught, the GPS signal went away, and it didn't follow with a failed location, which that is a good sign. So now I walked over to the stop. Let's spin a Pokestop, boom. And this is this is what I'm talking about when it act it's actually working without any errors or I don't know what you would want to call them. Because technically that you shouldn't be able to do this. But I don't see any problem with it since I can't actually get out right now. And I do want to play Pokemon. I honestly think this is a good solution to that. But if you're on the security patch on Android, this is what you're kind of stuck with. I hate, I hate to be that person to tell you, well, this is what you're stuck with. Because I, I mean not to tell you that I have tried every joystick app. I've watched over 500 videos. Um, on... Poke uh on GPS because I was disappointed I couldn't go outside to walk around. So I was like, are oh, you serious? This sucks and it's like whatever. So this is the only method I found that works. Which I can't say they're all liars because I did find a guy that made a video quite like this. But all he really touched on was showing you that just go to your mock location, set it all up, and um, do it that way. Which I'll actually show you how to set up the app and stuff in a few minutes. Um, it's just, it's the same way as most um, fly GPS and stuff, if you ever use that. 
you go into your settings, enable developer options. Um, uh, just, see, congratulations, you earn a medal. Walk 100 kilometers. Boom. See, like, it, it registers you walking, too. So that's one thing I've always liked. Gym badge earned. Um, so, oh, yeah, like, look at this. A bunch of hoot hoots. Oh, let's just click on this one. It's right under my feet. If it's a blow, like, 100 CP, yeah, no. Um, what about this one? I actually check the CPs before I... Uh, let's see what you're at, buddy. At 143. So I'm assuming these guys right here are all around the same, um, kind of C, uh, CP level. So let's just go back to the GPS, reopen Pokemon Go. I didn't shut it all the way out. I moved, I walked, it registered it, and let's just move a little further to like this street right here. Go back, open it. So we're walking down the street, Pokey stop, let's spin it, boom. There you go. Um another Spinix or I don't know what that's his name. Spinix, Spinarx, I don't freaking know. It's a six hundred CP. Just catch this really quick. But my uh, aunt uses my account too for gym battles because I don't really, you can't, you, it's not that you can't do gym battles with this method, it's just when you're in the middle of a battle and it comes up GPS that you want to find, you want to go back in and click the same G location you're at and it gives you an error, it's, it's, it's doable if you have patience, but, um, I like my Lugia. My aunt actually caught my Lugia with my account on her other phone because um, she has her phone and then a phone that she doesn't use anymore. So she'll take that one over and use her mobile hotspot. And, uh, just kind of battle with two phones. But it's good for raids when you can't really. When not a whole lot of people showed up. It's like another body's there. But. Um, there's not actually another body there, which, well, you know what I mean, hopefully. But let's move over a little bit more, find another Pokestop, maybe some more Pokemon. I'm tr I try not moving too far from my location, because then you get that pop method. Like, I was in that location, and I'm in a different location. So, I try not to do that a whole lot. So, I try to, like, go maybe four to five feet. That way, when I reopen my app, it kind of paces me a little bit. Like I'm moving. It kind of registers as I'm still on the app, so I moved why I was on the app. And as you can see, um, if you remember how low my um, Espen was, well, not my Espen, my Embryon, Umbreon, when we started, and I've been walking around. But I also have in Pokemon Go, Egg, um... 5.4, 10 kilometers, I believe last night when I went to bed before I started this video, it's at 4. So, as you can see, it does register movement. Which, honestly, I think that is a perk to this. But, even with a joystick would come in handy a lot better because you can just kind of move around. Um, and I know a lot of joysticks kind of just have that, um, just kind of have that mode where you can just walk in a circle. And you can leave your phone unattended. And, but for those of us with the security patch, um, here you go. This works on my mom's phone too. She has a Samsung Galaxy S6 Plus, just like me, through the same company. Um, my cousin's phone is... Has the security patch, but it's not a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. It's actually a Nexus 6P. Um, and her phone. I ain't rich to any means. It's just I have a job and it pays for my phone. Um, so, and I'm actually paying still on my phone. But, you know, it's no big deal. So, this is the method to move around. If you made it this far in the video, good for you, because I know I probably would have left it out if I was watching one of these, one of my own videos, but, um, if you did make it this far, 
I'm actually actually gonna show you after I check, catch this gold, um, how to set it up, set up the app. Which I'm not gonna leave the app and it takes too much time. I'll actually just um kind of show you guys. If you, for those of you who um may or may not have a problem on the vape channel, because this is my vape channel that I'm uploading this to. Um, I am vaping in the background. I'll actually get closer for you here. <laughs> yeah, I've actually been vaping this whole time. That's why my voice is kind of roughly, because I did just wake up, and I just started vaping without any water. If anybody's ever done that, you know how it gets. Um, but like Apom, I caught him in Tokyo, and boom, there's another one right there. Which, one thing about being in Tokyo that I don't get at my house is if I click on Apom, I have this little sheet and it shows me exactly where the Pokestop is. Which would be a lot easier with a joystick. But, it's, um, it's kind of hard to walk all the way over the top joystick when you can't look at the map to see the exact location. But, I'm just going to move one more time for you guys, and then I'll show you how to set up the app. Because I'm really enjoying playing like this, because it's actually, that it's not, I haven't got a failed GPS. Um, well, oh, for you those in the U.S. or anywhere besides Tokyo, you see how it says soft ban? You're not really soft ban, it's actually a store in, um, in Tokyo, just like Y Mobile and stuff. Buy Pokemon Fled 7 Eleven. It's good to know Tokyo still has a 7 Eleven. Like iTone, it's a gaming store. I believe. I have no idea what that is. But, alright. Oh, okay. Um, let's catch this uh, Shurkin because I need a lot more of those for, um, for I can upgrade or evolve. Yeah, I'm trying to make the vaping more in depth. You guys can really hear it, but uh, yeah, like I have 27 out of 50 candies. But uh, let's check this, catch this man real too. As you see, you can probably catch two Pokemon and spin like three Pokemon stops without too much of an error. And then you'll, I'll probably get one right about now. Of um, I may or may not get one right now. But let me just tell you something. Yep, there it is. The GPS failed signal. If you catch it in time, it click. Um, it more like will go away without too much an air. But you see, last last night I had psh, like 15 Pokeballs, and I was playing in Tokyo. And boom. Um, there you go. Now, for this method. Psh, I I normally my method to it. You can probably find another way that would be a little easier for you. Is my method is honestly what I what I do is oh two piggies. I wonder if a ditto's around. Um, Squirtle, definitely going for Squirtle instead because I still have Blastoise. I don't have Blastoise in my Pokédex, and I have to catch a bunch of Squirtles. But um, I'll pick a location. Like, um, last week, I picked Yokohama, Japan, and, um, I played in Yokohama, Japan for a while. As you can see, there is a glitch in Pokemon Go, so, and this does do this even when you're not using this method. When you, um, click on a berry, it'll say you have, like, 15 Pokeballs, but in reality, you have a lot more. Yeah, I don't have blast toys in my um Pokédex. Um, I really do want to catch one of these Pidgeys, but I'm actually gonna catch this GPS signal loss real quick and just move over here. Don't wait too long, or you will get that failed detection location thing, which I don't know. Why I made. Oh, I did. Okay, sweet. But now let's show you how to set up everything up. It's not that difficult if you've watched any other videos on joystick This it's pretty self-explanatory, but let's back out the game and show you. 
Let me shut my Pokemon Go. I'm gonna shut the failed location out. I'm gonna shut all these. Uh, so that I'm gonna shut that. Shut net. Uh, shut that and shut Netflix. But, all right. Um. So what you want to do is you want to go to the search. And you're gonna want to go search up. And as you can see, I've probably searched up a lot of stuff in the last two days about this. Big GPS location. And see, it's right here. I was one, two, three, four, fifth down on my device. Click on it. You'll inst it'll say install. You're going to open it. But before, after the app's installed, before you even open it, um, go to your settings and scroll down to about device about phone see i already have developer options enabled but go to about phone and um let me go to my model number and every phone is different like my phone sometimes it's model number and then other times it's build number see developer already turned on so um it's build number on this one as you can hear my cat talking to me in the background, so I just kind of leaned over my bed and he ran in the room and talked to me. But then you, then you don't have to do anything. Developer options real quick. Make sure it's go back out. Open the app. Now, since in this message it bugs the shit out of me, I get it every time, no matter what I do. Um, so after you go all the way through it, which I'll show you. Um, every time you open the app and it gives you mock location, just hit yes and then hit the back button on your phone, on your device, and it'll take you right back to the app and it, it, you didn't have to go scroll it down. So you're going to scroll down and go click on um, mock locations, fake GPS location free. Now, if you see the option to turn mock locations on, then go try Fly GPS. Um, what I suggest is the Fly GPS you try is go watch a few videos and there's a few links that will take you back to the older version of Fly GPS, and it may or may not work for you, but that's a joystick op opportunity there if, it, if you, yours is a slide, because then you're not on the security patch, more than likely. But go back, boom, I'm in the app. Um, I'm going to click here. I'm going to click Tokyo. I'm going to hit search. Alright, Metropolitan area. Let's just pop down right by the 7 Eleven over here. Boom. You take. Get an ad. Just click. Oh, wait, I forgot I shot it. So, boom. Go back to Pokemon Go. My cat is in this video real loud. I can hear him. I wonder if you guys can hear him, though. He's a kitten. He was a stray. I brought in. He was fighting with my older cat that got out. But. Back in Tokyo, like nobody's business. GPS signal not found, and as you've seen before, it's kind of buggy. So that's all I had for this video. Um, but I did want to show you that every time you open the app, it will pop up mock location. So um, I open the app. Yes, back. Search Tokyo. Boom, search. Set it down right here. Boom. And just to prove to you that it asks every time and you don't actually have to scroll down and click it. Here you go. Boom. Okay. Give it a second. Boom. Back in Tokyo. Real quick. My cat is a pain in the ass. I'm about to blow a vape cloud in your face, little dude. That guy in the back off. He'll be back in a second, though. Gotcha. And I believe I've already caught tons of these, yeah. Oh, maybe not a whole lot. Psh. Only, only two probably, because I only have six here. That's boring. Oh, 
there you go. Which I don't think I'm close to this one. She BS the Sigma I found, so I told you you'd come back. But that's the end of this video. It was just a quick tutorial on after security patch, going to the exact locations and catching Pokemon. But since the GPS signal is not found anyways, I'm going to show you that with this method, you can still catch regional, regional exclusives like Farfetch. So I have Farfetch, and um, my aunt actually messaged me, um, what's this Pokemon Farfetch you got? Um, I, I've never seen him. I'm like, because it's a regional exclusive. Because um, she knows I was spoofing a while ago when I had my other phone, but where is Farfetch at? But you can't, you can't really get all the Pokemon in the Pokédex without getting regional exclusives. So it's like, come on now. But there's um, Farfetch. I don't know if this is the best move list, but I got Air Slash and Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace so, and as you can see, Tokyo, Japan, boom. And that's it. Almost sure my strongest Pokemon really fit. Um, combat, combat power, which is my Lugia X, which is just Lugia, I put an X next to it, um, Gyarados, Vaporeon, Espeon, Jolteon, uh, Pidgeot, um, and then my Umbreon's down here, but I have Taurus, King, Kingler, a uh, bunch of other ones, Charizard, Gengar, so Pyro is way down here, but that's actually not as, um, it's Flareon. Anyways, for those of you people that don't like um not using the real name i just use the trick for my um evs to get them so. and i will end this video off for you guys if the video hadn't already cut out and i just ruined everything so hopefully the video recorded see i've been caught it with the gps signal not found so Honestly, you can still catch Pokemon, but that's going to be the end of this video.